Did I really not save again? Hi. Okay, I did. Oh, hello. Phew, oh my god, I would have cancelled the whole series. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I still have other saves. But... I have to go. Okay. Okay, that means I did save, so that means I can go to the museum, right? I reset the mount. No, it doesn't. I still need to go there. Okay, no, 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 no. I do have it. I do have it. It's all good. What is that? I think that's Hotel Lubu. That's how you said to mount. Is a crew. Let's go. Let's do it. I do have it. I did save. <sighs> okay, then. <laughs> I almost got scared, but let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's go there. Pardon me, oui, monsieur. Are you Lobino? Oh no, fancy you mistaking me for him. No, I am the deputy custodian. But Lobino does work here. Work? I would then go so far as to call it the <laughs> studies here most days. But as you can see. For yourself, not today. I love how everybody, every single person that knows him, turns into him so much. As always, let's talk about the objects first, because it's important that he knows that I have a T-shaped tool in my pocket. What does this tool mean to you? That belongs in a museum. Pardon? It is a priceless historical artifact, if I am not mistaken. No, it's a plain old tool for lifting drain covers. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted because my cats are playing right under my desk. And <laughs> they're adorable, but... Please, that is recording. Okay. Do you recognize this red nose? I don't think so. What do you make of this tissue? It is absolutely disgusting, monsieur. Yep. Also, I wasn't paying attention. What did he say about that? Okay, well, I'll see when I edit this. I don't think it was anything particularly useful to us, so that's fine. Would you like to shake my hand? Uh, not while I'm on duty, monsieur. Okay, okay, fair, fair. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Oh no, I don't frequent places like that. How do you know it's a place like that? Do you recognize this ID pass? No. I guess because it's a club. I don't know. Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park it. <laughs> no, no, no. They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is... I am no scholar, not like Monsieur Lobino. Same. I'm also really stupid. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. <laughs> not a sausage. Oh my god, I'm gonna use that. Thanks for your help. The new... I don't know, Jack. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. A notice identified it as 15th century yeah. from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ireland! Was that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Yeah. Pardon me, oui, monsieur? Let's ask about the tripod. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod, that belonged to John D. 
What's the importance Who's of John Dee's Dundee? tripod? Dee was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Odini of his time. Don't oh. you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. But whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. Oh, okay. Alchemist. Okay, that makes more sense. What kind of experiments did John Dee perform <coughs> with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Uh, didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. <laughs> Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How mm. sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see about that. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is, well, stretching the truth a little. It has True. never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. Thanks okay. for your help. So now, if I recall correctly, I can just already go back to Nico. Oh, I interrupted the cool music. The intense music. Back in Nico's apartment. Hi. There we go. I've been to the Croon Museum. Did you speak to Labino? No, he wasn't there. Yep, 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 yep. So... Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, but I can't imagine it was coincidence. Mm-hmm. Also, you do know, don't you? Was anything in the letter that he mailed her? Wow, I forget so easily. I found the tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Marn. I have heard of Loch Marn. I read an article about the castle. Take a look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine? You read that rubbish? No, I write, I write it. it. Professor Nigel Pegram excavating the medieval castle at Loch Marn. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Not only that, but he canceled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marn must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history, Daryl Cuckoo. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belota case. If you really think Pikram's dam is important, why don't you visit Loch Marn? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Where is Ireland exactly? <laughs> I mean, same. Although I do know where Ireland is, but all, I'm also bad at geography, so... I mean, I guess you're an American, so you're kind of excused because, you know, Americans. Ugh. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mostly. Anyway, what was I going to say? I was... <laughs> I wanted to say something, I forgot. <laughs> See what I mean? I forget too easily. Um... Oh my god, what did I want to say? What were they talking about? I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Um... I completely forgot what I wanted to say. So let's just go. Ireland, yeah. Let's go to Lockman. A few hours later. I passed the castle on the way into Loch Marne. The castle where Pegram's excavation was located. Whoa, that was a quick cutscene. 
Uh, Hello. The lad was doing his best to express his adolescent aggression. His effort was somewhat diminished by the fringe of milk on his lightly feathered upper lip. <laughs> oh my god, Simba, do you have to be this cute what? at this time name, right now? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Just one second, I just need to play with him. It's it's just too cute. It's not my fault, I swear. I'm I just have to. I have to. Okay, I'm back. Maybe. We'll see. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of the picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run. From me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy What's her medicine. Presumption? Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I. See what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared mm -hmm. to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. <laughs> Okay, so this guy is supposed to be a teenager or something, like, I don't know, from the look of the portrait, I'd say 16, I don't know, something like that, maybe 17, maybe 15, around that. But this, to me, <laughs> looks like he is a midget, like a fully adult I don't know. Is midget a good word? Is it a uh, slur? How? What? How do you call? <gasps> Whoops. Okay, I tried looking it up, but I don't see anything. Like apparently, yeah, it is offensive, so I'm sorry. Uh, but I also couldn't find an alternative. So I mean, I only looked it up quickly, and uh, English is my second language, so I didn't know. So I'm sorry about that, but you get what I mean. I didn't. I wasn't trying to be offensive, but these, uh, the, the pixel art on on this looks like that, and he looks like an adult with dwarfism. But maybe is the right way to say it. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. That's uh, that took way too long to say. Just that little thing. <laughs> Sorry. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? 
Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Although maybe he's a leprechaun, now that I think about it. We are in Ireland. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called <laughs> the Phantom of Loch Man. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. <laughs> what sort of oh noise? Oh my god. A horrible snuffling and snorting. Like O'Brien's pig, only worst. Only worst. <laughs> because it was a uh, pig worst. Okay. Sorry. That tickled me. Also, this is hilarious if you know what that is, and I do, like what the ghost in question is, and I do. Uh, we'll see later. Actually, what am I doing? We're supposed to ask about the objects first. Sorry, I got really distracted. First, by my adorable cats wanting to play, and then uh, by the height of this clearly fully adult man, even though the portrait says otherwise. I don't believe it. What do you think this tool is used for? Lifting drains. Dead right. How did you know that? Work experience course at school. That gives me a choice of going down the drains or up the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. Seed him. I also wonder if this is enough. Oh my god, Simba! Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? Sure. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's a clown's nose. I was almost killed by the guy who wore it. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. You should run tests on that, mister. You could identify the murderer with a sample of his snot. Yuck. I don't think so. Why not exactly? That is not a bad shout. I mean, I can't run test, and the police isn't interested, so. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, uh, that's. Whatever. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing. Okay. Not even that it's disgusting? Uh, I mean. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. No way. Oh, Nobody's any fan at all. Ever. Do you recognize this matchbook, McGuire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Ever heard of Thomas Merlin or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to talking about this ghost. Find out what was making the noise in the castle? What was that fear. accent? I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. I swear I didn't do that accent on purpose. I was... <laughs> I don't know what came to me. I, I'm sorry. This episode is a mess. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on my ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old <laughs> bent willow. Here's this spluttering and splashing an horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why well, I fell off the bloody wall. <laughs> oh, I love this ghost. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. <laughs> Fair. Okay. I mean, 
if you're sure about it. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Lochmarn? They all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking <laughs> for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff. Only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Mm, yeah, I'm sure right. you're older than that. Got a day over Look at you. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. <laughs> Is the wife the car? Are you married to the car? I'm in love with my car. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't because he's not here now, but if I seize him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure, jewels and gold and skeletons, like in the films. See you later, kid. Well, okay, mister. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, this drain cover here, they could have... It was such an easy reference to make, to put the clown killer here, just for a split second. It would have been a great reference. Just saying. That's a lost opportunity right there. 